Hello, I'm John Boatwright. I'm now retired as the Emeritus Professor of Business Ethics at Loyola University, uh, Chicago, where I held the Baumhart Chair in Business Ethics. I would divide the history of the society into sort of three phases. Uh, it's sort of childhood, it's adolescence, and it's adulthood. <laughs> So the society originated in the late 70s, essentially as a special interest section of the uh, uh, American Philosophical Association. And so we met with the uh, APA and had one session. And as I recall, dues were about $5, which covered the cost of a newsletter, which was mimeographed and sent to all um, members. Um, and it was a very informal uh, organization. So when I became executive director in uh, 2000, I discovered, for example, that I couldn't open a bank account because we weren't uh, incorporated. We apparently had some status in uh, Pennsylvania where Ron Duska had previously served as executive director, but I couldn't open a bank account until we were formally incorporated. And so I consulted uh, some lawyers and and successfully incorporated the society as a nonprofit in the state of uh, Illinois. Uh, that was the simple part uh, because previously we had been a 50C3 organization, but uh, with the new incorporation, the IRS regarded us as a new organization. So I also had to go through the whole process again of uh, uh, getting 501C3 uh, status. And at that time, the executive director. Uh, uh, wrote, developed contracts for annual meetings, negotiated with hotels. I handled registration for the meetings, uh, printed up the name tags, did the program book, and uh, so on. So I feel that my main accomplishment was to take the society from a very informal uh, organization to a much more formal organization. But since that time, my successors, who uh, manage the society very well, have uh, outsourced many of these uh, functions. And so we now have a fully adult, so to speak, uh, academic uh, organization. I'm proud of the textbooks that I have written because I think the textbook writing is a very important part of uh, a contribution to any field, especially a field like business ethics, which uh, has been in the process of formation. So in writing a, a best-selling uh, textbook, one has the opportunity to essentially define the field, to identify the important problems, to shape uh, the ways in which these are approached, and to some degree the position taken on these uh, issues. Uh, and uh, with uh, my work in uh, finance ethics, uh, I feel I was really the first in the business ethics field to deal with these uh, issues. And I've been very proud of the way in which uh, uh, other people have followed up so that now uh, finance is a much more studied area of business ethics. I, I'm very encouraged about the uh, future of um, business ethics, especially from the point of view of, of business ethics uh, research and the quality of the people who have entered into this field and the work that they are uh, doing. So as I said before, business ethics is now a very mature area. Um, but as it has matured, it's gotten away from its beginnings in uh, philosophy. So I described my own background, and that's the same background as many of the other people who are the pioneers in this uh, series. Uh, we got PhDs in philosophies, we worked into contemporary moral problems, and moved into business ethics and the like. That was a very good career path for those of us of that uh, age group. But that's ancient history. That's not happening, hasn't happened for a long time. <laughs> uh, and I I'm concerned about where future PhDs in business ethics are going to come from. And one place they're not going to come from, I believe, is uh, philosophy. Uh, so again, that's uh, ancient history, and it's not going to be uh, repeated. But I am encouraged by the way in which uh, PhDs, especially from business schools, uh, are showing an interest in uh, ethical issues. And so we're not going to have PhDs uh, in ethics entering business schools. 
But what we are going to have is PhDs in uh, marketing, management, finance, and other areas who have, have a research interest in business ethics and will contribute to that uh, field. So I think that the, the interdisciplinary aspect of uh, the people who are now entering the field is a great strength and will, continue, and will enable continued research in, in uh, business ethics. Why I'm more pessimistic is about the role of business ethics in the curriculum. Uh, I don't think we really developed the model for how uh, ethics should be taught in, for example, in the undergraduate business ethics programs or in the MBA uh, programs. They're handled in all kinds of different uh, ways. And I don't really see a real commitment on the part of uh, our major business schools uh, to work business ethics into the curriculum. So we have the people who are very capable of doing high quality research in business ethics. And we have some people who can teach such courses. What we don't have is the, that, so to speak, the uh, conceptualization of what a course in business ethics in a business ethics program should be. I think the impact that um, business ethics research and business ethics education can have upon business is very indirect through the students that we uh, create. Um, so, I, so I find business ethics very different, say, from medical ethics, where medical ethics is now very well established as a part of uh, medical practice, the administration of hospitals and the like, where ethicists uh, rub shoulders with doctors and others in handling very specific uh, cases. So we don't find, and I don't, would, would not expect to find, <laughs> business ethicists in corporate boardrooms uh, uh, giving advice as to how to uh, uh, deal with ethical issues. I think the impact is, A, on the students that we create, uh, but, but insofar as most of the issues, again, are not matters of individual conduct, but of uh, institutions and markets. I think the impact is going to be what um, business ethicists themselves can contribute along with a variety of other disciplines as we try to tackle some of the major problems in uh, business ethics. I'll just give one example. Uh, there's a lot of concern right now with uh, high frequency trading. I've written on it and I've uh, uh, reviewed a number of papers for publication in academic journals on this uh, issue. And these papers will be read and uh, moreover in my own writing and that of others uh, we've drawn upon work done, again, by the Federal Reserve Bank and by Securities and Exchange Commission, uh, FINRA and others. Uh, so this issue is very much on, high on the list uh, for the major actors in developing financial regulation. So I think the main impact of people in business ethics is going to be to contribute in whatever way they can to research projects uh, that are already underway in dealing with these kinds of issues.